Oh, I just love to make holiday at my parents' place. They just have such an abundant garden. Wait, over here. Look, this side. Here, I'm here. Here. Look, this is Syntropic Agroforestry. I planted this last year in April, so it's one year, two months, and it's booming. Those are willow cuttings. They've been this size when I planted them. And now look at them, they are three meters after one year. So I'm wondering why would you not plant in a syntropic way with succession and high density. Look at this. We're not missing out any space. We're not leaving anything. We're not planting trees 10 meters apart from each other. So I'm really into this system. I'm really excited about it. So I want to take you through a small tour today and we're gonna make some management. So stay with me, make a tour first and then uh, we jump right into the management. But wait, what is he actually talking about? Succession and what is all that stuff? Syntropic agroforestry is a farming method that works according to laws of nature. So we have a set of principles that tries to mimic nature in order to restore ecosystems and make farming healthy and not the kind of depletion that we have going on at this time. There are five principles in Syntropic Farming that we just want to go through really quickly for you to have an understanding what is going on here in the garden and here in the forest edge also. The first principle that we want to achieve is maximizing photosynthesis. So we try to plant really densely and have a lot of plants that are photosynthesizing and putting energy into the soil. The second principle we have is succession. While we had vegetables here in the last year, now the pioneer trees are already taking over with a lot of comfrey underneath it. All has been planted at the same time. That is very important. The future plants are already present in the system. For example, we have some current cuttings here and we have some peaches by seed. Stratification is the layering of different plants that have different needs of sunlight. So the ones that like more sun can stay more to the top and the ones that can thrive in shadier conditions stay low. So we have a different layers that can capture all the sunlight that comes into the place. The fourth principle we have is don't keep no open soil. All the soil should be covered with green plants or mulch. And we already have mulch in place and adding more and more. All the plants that have been growing here, they are all going back to the system. Let's come to the last principle, which is disturbance. Disturbance is made by animals in healthy ecosystems, grazing off of grasses and also of trees. So as we are the most present species of animals nowadays, we have to fulfill the function and speed up the system. When we cut or, or prune trees, we trigger the production of growth hormones like gibberellic acid that will spread out in the whole soil and will be transported by the fungi network and spread it to all the plants. So all plants will grow faster after we bring in this disturbance. So let's make a small disturbance here. We have our peaches. And cut back the comfrey for it to have some life.
nice so all of this will grow back it's really not that bad as it looks like because all of those willows will grow back and they will grow more they will grow further i've been cutting this alder tree before and all of this comfrey will grow back and has been grown so much already i've been cutting will grow back and they will grow more they will grow further cutting grow grow more cutting grow back grown so much So the first thing you might see are these huge pioneer trees, which is mostly willow and poplar in this bed. And they are uh, hybrid ones, so they are really fast growing. Here's a lot of water, here's a lot of rain in this place, so they are really happy about it. But they are overgrowing things, like this mulberry here. So we, at least this willow we will have to come and prune and take it up. Okay, so have a look at our stratification. That is the layering of the plants, depending on the need of sunlight of each plant. For example, rhubarb can really thrive in shady conditions. I have it over there under a big apple tree and it's doing very well. More than the ones in the sunlight. So let's start from the top. We have poplar, which will be polarded on four to five meters. We'll have willow, which will be pollarded at two and a half meters. So they already have a structure. The poplar atop, willow below. And from there, the raspberry, which is, let's say, medium to high strata. It does need sunlight, but it doesn't need full sunlight. Just we have to prune the layers above for it to get enough sunlight. And here is our uh, rhubarb, which is really low strata, the same as the strawberries which are all over here, but they will stay just for maybe three years. Comfrey, which we'll have here in the back of our row. The back of the row is slightly shadier. So this is the stratification that is present in the system right now. Things are always changing and dynamic. And with the management and the pruning, we will help with that. In the front of our row, we still have a lot of gaps. It was my first system, so I didn't knew, but we put a lot of sticklings of sage, Artemisia plants and perennial kales, perennial onions and different things. You can never have enough seeds and enough stuff going on. So I can never tell you everything that is in here. Actually, really, there are more peach seeds and different ashes and different, different seeds of plants that are coming up here. But that will be the following generation. So here we have our Eleagnos multiflora. I'm amazed by it. I think it was we, one of the few things we planted, really as pot plant, was maybe this size. And now uh, last year's lot of growth and this year amazing new growth. And we will give it some form. This is nitrogen fixing, giving very nutritious fruit. And look at its biomass same time. It's, uh, it's amazing. So now we're going to manage some. And before we come to prune the trees and manage maybe some of the raspberries, we have to clear the ground. We have some of weeds here, like this one, that are creeping. This one I don't want in my bed. The same like grasses. Grasses also have to stay out. After I cut the comfrey, I will clear, take some of the weeds out just slightly and then we come to prune other stuff. Then I will be putting down the comfrey and in the end put uh, some grass cuttings on top. Yeah, yeah. They say that plants grow up, people grow up, commerce grows up, industry grows up, but economics trickles Now we did the comfrey. And we come to weed some. You see one grass here. That one is creeping and it's not giving any biomass and coming to seed fast. The times are so crucial now. World is in a predicament now. Worldwide unrest, freak out and drown. Nations tightening in borders down. We make a pruning now of the raspberries because we don't want too much per square meter. So we leave those in the middle there 
and take out some of these. And also the old ones from last year. See here, they had fruits. We we'll prune everything now so that the rest of the raspberry can get full power. And then we can spread the mulch here evenly. More to figure out where reason resounds. Here's the deal. In our interest now is the mutual satisfaction about are the investors and the whole sports proud. Proudly commended in the polity's mouth For a job well done Brought about For a job well needed Brought about Look what survival face found out Selfish genes take preeminence now Demographic and logistics in a drastic shift round Resource driven market dick Setting the bounds, then say Africa is the last frontier. The arable land of earth, all is on thin far. That the ocean is unexplored seems to be unclear. That leaves the herbets we go on dinner. We're here, we're now. We've got to live together somehow. If we share good people, then we so we will prune this Eleagnus multiflora to give some space to the lower strata. There are some strawberries there and there are some current cuttings coming up. They will be our future low strata. Some perennial kale coming up, elderberry coming up, currants coming up. We make a little bit of light, but we try to keep some raspberries. I'm coming to prune the trees, so I'm taking out the stems from below. Plants grow up, people grow up, commerce grows up, industry grows up, but economics trickles down in their think tank sound. More to figure around, where their reason resound. Und das funktioniert dann immer mit den dementsprechenden äh, heimischen Pflanzen dann auch. Genau, oder halt die, die in deinem Klima gut wachsen. Ja. Egal welche Pflanzen, alle Pflanzen, die gut wachsen, passen hier gut rein. Also du könntest praktisch mit ganz wenig Grundsubstanz anfangen und dann in der Wüste. Genau. Ja, ich stelle mir das, so das Paradies vor. Läuft da durch und frisst sich durch. <lacht>